Greg from the future here and I just wanted to give you a heads up on this video I am going to be covering some of the wiring overview and basics uh, I'm not going to go into a complete detail on how I wear my Voron 0.1 but hopefully this will give you some tips and tricks and pointers as you put your uh, Voron together okay something you're going to need to do is make um, some spade terminals with your AC inlet wiring and I've already cut my wiring to about where I need it. I probably have a little extra room too. And I did that in case I need to move it around. So the first thing I'm going to do is crimp the um, about yay much. And then uh, <clears throat> I'm using this crimping tool and I use the blue setting. It seems to be fine. Okay, you want just enough of the wire to be shown through. And then you're going to take your crimping tool, make sure it's loose all the way. And then um, you gotta carefully line up your terminal. Hold your wire in there, make sure it, you can see it coming through. And then you're just gonna gently squeeze until everything goes into place. When you're done, it should look like that. And if you do a little wiggle on it, um, nothing, none of the wires should move. And then you just need to repeat that for all your AC inlet wires. All right, I've got my AC inlet wired up. Um, I'm going to check things just to make sure I'm getting 24 volt out of the power supply before I go much further. And I can also adjust it if I need to. So I'm going to check the negative voltage, I'm being very careful, and the positive. And I am getting 24, well, almost 24 volts, 23.96, close enough. All right, and I just went ahead and installed the uh, 24 volt to 5 volt converter. The Raspberry Pi is up next, and I'm basically just putting in M2 self-tapping screws, and this is how you want it mounted. And we're going to do the same thing for the SKR. The other thing is, is you're going to use uh, the M3 six screws for these instead of the M2s. While you're working on the SKR, you might want to put the heat sinks on top of the little drivers. Um, there's four of them. All right, I've got the heat sinks on, and now I'm going to tape both the Raspberry Pi in the SKR onto the board. Okay, you can see how I have them laid out here. I have not taped them down yet, but I think I'm gonna kind of keep them about like this. Um, I don't have the, the V0.1 motors, which come down a little lower, but I wanna make sure that I have enough room to insert an SD card here if I ever need to. Um, and you also wanna have SD card access here. You don't wanna have any of these connectors where you can't access them because something's in the way. Okay, I got a nice fat piece of tape down here from the VHB tape. I'm going to try to lay it just where I think I want it. Making sure I've got enough clearance here and I'm not too high above that screw. So that seems about right. You only get one try on this. Otherwise, you got to get a new piece of tape because tape is not very forgiving. I think I got it pretty good. And I'm going to just repeat for this one. All right, now I've got the second one, the Raspberry Pi stuck down. And again, I tried to line it a little bit below this hole, just like the diagram had. So then you want to just make sure you give it a gentle press so it makes a good bond. I don't, th I don't think it's going anywhere. I've got all my AC done. Um, now I'm at the point where I'm wiring up the SKR and the Raspberry Pi. I've also connect went ahead and connected two of the motors. Um, so I'm going to, I will demonstrate how I'm crimping. Uh, so hopefully that'll help somebody. You're going to need these um, <clears throat> little pins here and these get crimped on and you're also going to need these JST connectors. But basically what I do is I, I trim my wires just enough and then after I, after I get these trimmed down, then I use my crimping tool and crimp them and that's pretty much all there is to it. And then you insert it into the JST and you're done. You don't need a lot of wire exposed, just a little tiny bit, which you can kind of see here hopefully. And I'm using these PA09 crimpers. These are really good crimpers. Uh, you can get them on Amazon. But basically, I, f I set it in here and I line it up. I'm using the 1.4 um, size, which seems to be about right. And then I just set the wire in and I make sure that it goes underneath where it's going to crimp. Helps to twist it a little bit. I'm going to get this other one out of the way for a second. You don't want to crimp too much or too little. You want to leave enough for the jacket for the next crimp because you're going to have to crimp it twice. All right, so I just gently squeezed 
you want to go all the way down you don't want to overdo it so you can break your crimp then I do a nice little tug make sure it's not moving it's not and then I'll do the probably the 1.9 for the piece that's going to go to the jacket make sure it's set in there well and then I just crimp. Now this one I especially don't push hard, very hard. And that's pretty much it. Make sure that it's gonna stay there. Make sure your little wire here is still, st or your, uh, that part is still sticking up a little bit because it's gonna need to, to snap into the connector. And then I'll do the same thing for this other one and then I'll fit it into the JST. Okay, the one I'm doing right now is the, thermo the bed thermistor, so it doesn't really matter um, on which pin goes where. But if uh, most of most of the time it does, and you're gonna want to match it up, you know, on your board before you um, connect it and put these pins in, so, because they can be a little bit of a pain to pull back out. You want to make sure that it catches and it can't wiggle loose. And there's really only one way that they're gonna stay in, and that's this piece has to hit the the hole. Okay, I've got both the pins in there. Doing a gentle tug, they're not coming out. Now you want to try and make sure that it'll fit where it's supposed to go. So it's right here, THB, and there we go. Sometimes if you put too much wire inside the pin, it won't fit right. So you got to make sure you get just enough wire on there. All right, so I've got all the wiring pretty much done. It's not going to win any beauty contest, but um, it looks pretty good. It's uh, I got a lot of zip ties, kind of keeping it orderly and nice and tight. The other thing that I did was I added a little angle bracket here to help provide strain relief. There is a cable tie too that you can put in here. Um, unfortunately, my T nut was behind this motor, so I can't really get to it easily. But um, I went ahead and put this panel in to help. So I think I'm in pretty good shape.